Hello and welcome to our first Russian lesson. Today we will learn a few Russian basic phrases, learn uh, the difference between informal and formal Russian, and uh, learn how to read Russian words. We will look at two basic conversations, and then I'm going to teach you how to read Russian. Yes, from this very first lesson you will learn how to read a great deal of Russian words. So let's get started. We will start with a dialogue. This dialogue is an informal conversation. The one that people may have um, with their friends, family members, children, um, people close to them. Uh, let's look at the title of the dialogue. Dialogue 1. Hi, how are you? Dialog 1. Привет, как дела? On the left, you can see the dialogue in Russian with the pronunciation guide. And on the right, you can see the translation into English. Please mind that the letters marked red denote the stressed syllable. It's where the stress belongs in Russian words. First, I'm going to read the dialogue. Uh, I'm going to read the whole dialogue and then I'm going to read it line by line. And I want you to repeat after me. Привет! Как у тебя дела? Хорошо. А у тебя? Нормально. Ты торопишься? Да, извини. Ладно, пока. Пока. Окей? Okay? Now let's read it line by line. Please repeat after me. Привет. Как у тебя дела? And this is hi, how are you? How are things with you? Хорошо. А у тебя? Хорошо. This is the word for good. А у тебя? And with you? Нормально. Okay, normal. Ты торопишься? Ты Торопишься? Are you in a hurry? Да, извини. Yes. Yes, I am. Sorry. Ладно, пока. Ладно is the word of agreement. Okay. Bye. Пока. Bye. Okay? Very good. So this is the informal conversation. Now let's look at the formal one. Dialogue 2. Hello. Dialogue 2. Здравствуйте. This is the kind of conversation you will have with your colleagues, people you don't know very well, or people you are on formal terms with. So again, I'm going to read the whole dialogue first and then we're going to work it through line by line. Здравствуйте! Как у вас дела? Ничего. А у вас? Неплохо. Вы торопитесь? Да, извините. Ладно. До свидания. До свидания. Okay? Let's read it line by line. Please repeat after me. Здравствуйте. Здравствуйте. This is a very long word. But um, this is a very important word because this is how we greet 
people formally in Russian. So once again, Здравствуйте. Hello. Как у вас дела? How are you? The formal version. Ничего. Ничего. This word literally means nothing, but when we use it to answer the question, how are you? It means okay, nothing to complain about. А у вас? And with you? Неплохо. Неплохо. Not bad. Вы торопитесь. Вы торопитесь. So this is again, why uh, are you in a hurry? But the formal version. Да. Извините. Once again, извините. Here is the formal sorry. Ладно. До свидания. Okay, goodbye. До свидания. Goodbye. Very good. So this was the formal Russian conversation. Let's review once again. If we speak about greetings, yeah, we have the formal, the formal one. Здравствуйте. You use it with your colleagues and people you don't know very well. And we have the informal one. Привет. Привет. We use it with our friends and family. The same applies to goodbyes. The formal goodbye. До свидания. До свидания. And the informal one. Пока. Пока. Very short. As I said, in Russian we distinguish between informal and formal conversation and informal and formal address. So we have two versions of you, of the pronoun you. Ты, ты. This is informal singular you. And вы, вы. The formal or plural you. So this you use when you address a person formally or you address a group of people. Let's review some of the phrases from the dialogues yeah, that differ um, in the level of formality. Как у тебя дела? Как у тебя дела? The informal, how are you? Как у вас дела? Как у вас дела? The formal one. Are you in a hurry? Ты торопишься? Ты торопишься? The informal version. And вы торопитесь? Вы торопитесь? The formal one. And we have two versions of sorry. The informal one is Извини, извини, and the formal sorry is извините, извините. By the way, this word also means excuse me. So you will use it to um, address a formal, uh, address a person in the street, for example, to ask for directions. Yeah, so you will say, извините, and then ask your question. Now let's look at some of the ways to answer the question, как дела? How are you? How's it going? In the dialogues, we've seen 
Хорошо. Хорошо. Good, well. We've seen. Нормально. Нормально. Окей, okay, normal. Отлично. The next one is отлично. Excellent. Неплохо. Неплохо. Not bad. Не очень. Не очень. Not too good. Так себе. Так себе. So-so. And ничего. Ничего. The word literally means nothing, but can be used in the meaning of not bad. Okay, so much for the dialogues. Let's move to the next part of our lesson. Reading Russian words. And to be able to learn how to read Russian words, let's look at Russian letters first. We will look at the first group of Russian letters. These are the letters that look exactly like English letters and make exactly the same sounds. There are six letters in this group. The first letter is A. A. And the sound it makes is A, as in father. The next letter is Е. Е. It can make two sounds. Е, e, when it's in the middle of the word. And Е. Е, when it's at the beginning of the word. The next letter is К. 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 The sound is К. The next one is М. М. M, M. M. The sound is m as in mom. The next one is o, o as in born. And uh, the last letter in this group is t, 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 t. Okay. Now let's read. Let's uh, try to read some of the. Russian words. I want you to listen attentively and pay attention to the spelling of the word. So listen how it sounds and pay attention to the spelling. Act. Act. Tam. Tam. Kto? То кот, кот, мат, мат, том, том, мама, мама, кома, кома, томат, томат. I want you to draw your attention to the pronunciation of this word. So you may ask, why isn't it tomat? Tomat. So the thing is, when o isn't stressed, it gets reduced, and it reminds uh, a little bit of a. So it becomes kind of a short a. And we have tamat, tamat. Here. Uh, this letter is stressed. A is stressed. So, O is not stressed. That is why it gets reduced. Tamat. The next one is Tema. Tema. Kameta. Kameta. So, here again we have the reduction of O because it isn't stressed. Okay, so this was the first group of Russian letters, the letters that 
look exactly like English letters and make the same sounds. Now we will look at Russian letters that also look like, look like English letters, but make different sounds. So be careful with these letters. The first letter that looks like English B is V. V. It is, uh, it is actually the V sound. V. Yeah, for example, Vata. Vata. The next one is N. N. It looks like H, but it's actually N. N. An. An. The next one is R. R. Uh, it looks like P, but it's R. R. Be sure to trill this sound. In Russian it's trilled. R. Rot. Mouth. Rot. The next letter is S. 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 And the sound is S. S. Unlike the English letter C, this letter always makes the S sound. It never makes the K sound. For example, sock. Sock. Juice. The next letter is U. U. And the example word here is tut. Tut. Which means here as opposed to there. And the last letter in this group, which looks like X, is H. 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 We've seen it in the word хорошо. Хорошо. Good. The example word here is ухо. Ухо. Ear. Let's try reading more words. Век. Век. Ева. Ева. Нет. Нет. Окно. Окно. Here again you can see the unstressed O, which sounds like A. Окно. Be sure to make emphasis on the end here. Вена. Вена. When it's capitalized, this word means Vienna, yeah, the, uh, the city. When it's not capitalized, it's vain. Vienna. Anna. Anna. Tonna. Tonna. Be sure to prolong N here because it's double N, so we should do, uh, so we should prolong it. Tonna. Rika Niva Rika Niva Vera 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 is a woman's name, a Russian woman's name, and it means faith. The next one is Raman Raman Raketa Raketa Vor Вор. Секрет. Секрет. Нос. Нос. Москва. Москва. Сенат. Сенат. Север. Север. Сорок. Сорок. Совет. Совет. Уксус. Уксус. Утка. Утка. Трус. 
трус, рука, рука, мука, 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 мука. So you can see this word and this word only differ in stress, but the meaning changes completely. So the stress is very important in Russian. The next one. Курс. Курс. Хор. Хор. Хвост. Хвост. Суха. Суха. Монах. Монах. This was the last word, I can say that you are молодец, молодец, well done. So these were the first two groups of Russian letters. There is another group, the third group, the letters that cannot be found in the English alphabet. But we will look at them in our next lesson. And now I'm telling you до свидания. And спасибо. Thank you.